I'm Chef Say. My most favorite food has got to be Dungeness crab, and right now it's in peak season. But don't let cracking these guys intimidate you. It's actually quite easy and can be done in about 15 minutes. Plus, if you do it home, it tastes better and is less expensive. Now, most of the time when you go to your fishmonger, you can get it already cleaned, but I thought it would be a good idea to clean the crab just so you can see how it's done. So we're gonna flip our Dungeness crab over. This little piece right here is called the apron. All we're gonna do is slide a finger underneath and just lift up that flap. And then I'm gonna put my thumb right at the edge between the body of the crab and the top shell. And just using my hands, and with a little leverage, the shell just pops right off. Now, I know you may be going, ew, this is actually really good stuff. Inside, you'll see the brown stuff that's kind of jiggling around in there. That's called crab butter, and a lot of people really enjoy that. So if you're gonna eat the crab butter, go ahead and scoop that out. For the body of the crab, all I'm gonna do to clean this up, see these little gills right here? Those need to come off. So I'm just gonna pull them off with my fingers. Then I'm just gonna break off the mouth parts here. Perfect. And then let's give this little guy a rinse, shall we? Perfect. Now back to our cracking surface. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pull off all those legs and you just twist them off from the body, just like that. There we go, crack off those claws. That's my most favorite part. And then we're just gonna separate the body by pushing down and separating those two halves. Now, to the actual shelling. All I'm gonna do is take my nutcracker, come across the top, and just give it a gentle squeeze. And you don't wanna squeeze too much because there's some really fabulous meat in here and you don't wanna squish it. So crack all the way down. And now that that's nice and cracked, I like to use these little pointy claws from the end of the crab and just slide the meat out and discard the shell. Just keep going and we're gonna crack all of these legs. Okay, now we're on to the claws and this is some very important meat. So when we crack the claw, we're just gonna bring back the movable piece right here and snap it forward, just like that. And then there's a piece of cartilage in here that we wanna be very careful to pull out. There we go, see those two little pieces? You wanna make sure you pull them out first before you continue to crack that claw. Let's move on to the body pieces. So there are two body pieces, and these body pieces are made up of little individual tubes. So, so I'm gonna start just kinda of by compressing those little pieces, and you can kinda of hear it crack underneath my fingers there. And I'm just going to start pulling off some of the shell and discarding it. Now look at all these little tiny pieces in here. We wanna make sure we get all of that out of the shell. So I'm just gonna use my handy dandy claw here to scrape that out. Perfect. And then just continue on with the rest of the body. All right, our crab has been cracked and of course, to taste it to make sure it's good. It smells so fresh, it smells very clean, it doesn't smell fishy at all, it smells exactly like crab should smell, and that's because I cooked it live. So let's take a test, shall we? It's so fresh, it's so sweet, it's an absolute delight. Please do this at home with a little practice, it'll take you about 10 to 15 minutes. It's gonna taste better and it's a lot less expensive. Happy and healthy cooking. All right, uh, take three. Dungeness crab has to be my most favorite food, and right now it's in peak season. But don't knock over your bowl. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start that. <laughs> but don't knock over your bowl.